dude, don't we? The big, angry, scary fairy guy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really sorry about that. Alright, cut that down. What is this? Anything good? 367 bucks, good enough for me. It's going good, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well. Kratos is doing well too. My boy, not so much, but Kratos is doing alright. Although I am guessing he's quite cold. So all he's wearing is like a little bit of boar skin, but I don't know if you knew this, but like animal pelts are actually incredibly warm. So like if you see anybody like out in the wilderness or whatever, it regulates body heat really well. Like way better than you think it would. So like people who are like going out jogging and stuff like that, like because they're active and they have their bl blood flow going and stuff like that, it heats them. So like people who are out jogging in the morning and just like a pair of joggers and shit like that, like they're actually pretty warm. It's like they're doing alright. Nice warning, boy. Fuck, chump. Oh shit, that really hurt. Where are you, big guy? There you are. I did kick the shit out of him before he even hit me once, though. Why can't I block him? What the fuck? I swear to god I'm parrying that. Alright, though. Whatever you say, dude. He must also have a dad at Microsoft that allows him to cheat. Yep, because I didn't roll. Guess not. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Can I get this health? Thanks, Sasswipe. That was a little scary. I like how I went from, like, beating this dude's ass to getting my ass kicked in, like, two seconds. That's good shit. There we go, he's super dead. Jesus. Alright. That was a little bit of a rough fight. It started out well, and then it kind of went to shit, like, halfway through. Like, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a game named, S what, Svartalshafur? Like, I don't even know how to pronounce that, dude. Like, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a dude whose name I can't even, like, correctly pronounce. Wrath of the Wolf summons a spectral wolf? Oh yeah, this is for Atreus, huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Put that on there. Need a face cam too so I can smirk at people? Yeah, K Dub smirk is like one of his best emotes, I think. It's like really smug. But not like condescendingly smug, but it's kinda like a aloof smug, which I like. Do you remember the answer? Don't sass me, boy. Imagine like mm, Parenthood is tough even for Kratos. Kratos is a dad and he still gets sassed. What's that? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here. If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Yeah, that shut him the fuck Curious. up, didn't it? Forget it. Oh no, okay. come on, dude. You were being angsty with me. I get to be angsty and pull the, your mom's dead card on you now. Come on, man. 
That's kind of fucked up. If you're willing to dish it, you gotta be, you know, ready and willing to take some, too. Come on, man. Get in the boat, boy. Yeah, Trace, get in the boat. If you don't want to listen to anything I have to say, why don't you stay here in Fairy World? Or Elf World? You can just stay here and be brooding and, you know, mourn your dead mother by yourself. I like how Kratos, like, instantly forgot about what just happened. She was not there. I like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Nice, good shit. Stake my silence for lack of grief. Oh, I wish. Leave me to my own. Damn. Ouch. Imagine being Atreus and then talking so much shit to your dad, and then like getting that and feeling like a complete piece of shit. Insane. Why would you? Seriously, just put Kratos like he he, he put his kid in his place there. Mind your tongue, boy. If I ever have a kid, that's how I'm gonna do that. Like, when I'm about to ground my kid for fucking up or doing something insanely bad. And they're talking shit to me. Like, In mind your world. tongue. And they'll be like, oh god, dad's back. scary. If that is of some comfort Although I'm gonna have to grow a sick beard if I want it to be, like, really scary and imposing like Kratos is. I don't think I can pull the beard of Kratos' magnitude off. I'm not a beard person. Especially with my voice. Like, I can't imagine me with a beard. It'd be weird. I'm too baby-faced to have a beard. I don't think I'd be able to do it justice. A beard is reserved for very few people. Norse people, you get a free pass, right? Norwegian people, get a free pass. Bikers? People who are drunk a lot? And that's about it. Oh, and war veterans. They, they get the right for beards. Everybody else exempt from beards. So, Norwegian people, bikers, war veterans, and bars, like bar drinkers, stuff like that. Did I get an axe upgrade? I'm curious. What did I lose? Okay. In Lake Crest of Defiance, what does that do? High perk activation chance to grant protective barrier. Boring. Whatever, I'll take it. Might as well. It's free stuff. Oh, I can't upgrade that anymore. God damn it. Alright. That's fine. Uh, can I make some new chest stuff? Yeah, but it's all trash. Although I do gotta remember to start, like, upgrading my stuff. So that only gives me a plus one. That gives me a plus four to defense, though. Would I be better off just making a new waste armor? Let's see, one and six. Hmm, I don't know about that. Hmm, I don't need that. Maybe I'd be better off upgrading his bow. Yeah, I think I'd be better off upgrading his bow. Rather than upgrading my own armor at this point. It's not like I'm not gonna get different armor to put on anyway. Um. Oh, is this like for a quest or some shit? Yeah. Can't really grow a beard, it'd have to be like a mustache and goatee? Yeah. So you're about as baby-faced as I am, seeing you with a goatee or any sort of facial hair would be just as weird as it would on me. Uh, if you've seen what Eden looks like, I look quite a bit like Eden, so I've heard. Uh, we share a lot of resemblance, except he's Polish and he has a really sexy voice. Huh. I'm not afraid to admit that. Does this story have a point? Eden Issue yes, has a sexy-ass voice. If there's one thing I could wish for, like if I had a genie and I had three wishes, two of those wishes, at least, would be to have Eden's voice. And then the third one would be some random third thing that probably isn't super beneficial and is probably, like, really selfish. I could, like, wish for, like, world peace or something like that, but pff, who would do that, right? Not me. I'm not responsible like that. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? No, no, not at all. He's dead. Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. 
Yeah, it's not like Sindri gives a shit. It's not like he knew him personally. He doesn't care. Alright, so I think we're done in Elf World. Like, after we, like, basically butchered all the elves. Like, we just killed 80% of the elf population, and now we're just gonna fuck off like nothing happened, as Kratos tends to do. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Also, this is never explained. How is Atreus able to, like, talk to animals and shit like that? That's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's like something in Norse myth that you're supposed to be able to pick up on if you know about it, but I don't know. I don't understand what the connection with that is. Classic Kratos, yeah. Acting all distant, and then he's like suddenly interested because he's just curious. I really want to play all the other God of War games. I have to get like PS now if I want to do them, which I will probably get eventually. It's only like 10 bucks a month or something like that. It'd be worth it, but like... If I were to get PS Plus and we were to, uh, or PS Now or whatever the hell they call it, uh, if we were to do that, I would have to slam all the God of War games back to back to back to back to back, and I wouldn't want to do that. Which is why I'm hoping PS5 has backwards compatibility and then I can just play them whatever, whenever the fuck I want. Because, like, we have the light. for those asking, yes, I do have the other God of Wars. I do have them. I just can't play them because fucking Sony's idiotic and they haven't done backwards compatibility because they're stupid. But, if they do it for PS5, it'll make him a shit ton of money, so. Maybe the dear old Atreus that he wanted to live at the start of the game with? Yeah, like, if only they had gotten along from the beginning. But now Kratos has to be an asshole. Alright, return to Midgard. We should be alright now. Now we have the Bifrost, so now we can start making our way up the mountain. So, I figured last time we'd get at least, like, maybe halfway up the mountain, but now I'm thinking we'll get to the top of the mountain by the end of the stream, I think. Because I typically only go for, like, three hours. And that gives me time to, like, clip all the videos and, like, trim all the stuff and do whatever editing I need to do. So I don't like to overburden myself with super long streams, because I usually upload stuff to YouTube after I finish it. It'd be such a good, unique selling point. Yeah, if they would just, like, incorporate the technology they've had for years to beyond the new system so we can play the back catalog of Sony titles. That'd be really nice. Yeah, and they should capitalize on the success with God of War, like the new one has had, and then they can, like, use it as a selling point for all the previous entries in the series to people who haven't played them, so they can learn the backstory of Kratos and shit. It makes perfect sense. And we met your brother. Wait, not that over. Did you let that seat saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? I have everything, so, like, everything you need is, I think the command is this, but I'm not sure. Yeah, nailed it. What a G. Yeah, so I have Twitter, I have YouTube, I have Facebook, like, a page, but I don't really do much with it. And, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you for asking. Yeah, leaving a blind pig farts up a truffle now. But you know what really counts. Yeah, sounds like something somebody coincidentally would say when it applies, you know. Oh, good shit. Mark of the Dwarves, what does that do? Yeah. It's better. Better how? Also, if you were just gonna make it better again, why not just do that from the beginning? Alright, what's your favor? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Velander Mines, I remember that. Where you gotta fight the Ancient, or whatever. Probably dead, but maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? No, Fine. not really. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Well, give it, dickhead. He didn't even hand it to me, we just have it, alright. He could have, like, physically handed it to me, I guess. Yeah, maybe that's something we'll do next stream. We'll go off and do a whole bunch of side quests and shit. Back to the Black Breath. Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Alright. Are we going to the Black Breath? Now nah, we're going to the Black Breath. Yeah, we're going to the Black Breath. We might as well get some more progression under our belt. Like, literally. 
turned past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's cave. And what direction is that? It's uh, mid morning. Yeah, I thought I heard some nasty okay, stuff. So How are you fellas doing? South. I'm gonna have to cleave you Good. with my magical axe a little bit. Just sit down, idiot. What the fuck are you trying, dude? You really gonna roll up on a man that has like a mystical axe that glows? That has like frosty ice powers and shit? Oh, come on, dude. I parried that. Fucking idiot. I think he knows I parried that too. He's just being a sassy boy. Alright, that dude is super dead. Alright. Not the cleanest fight I've ever had, but whatever. We lived. Atreus lived too. Although, Atreus' safety should be our primary goal, right? Should be. Isn't, but it should be. Because we're supposed oh, to be a parent. The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. It does save us a little bit of time, you're right. No, I don't have to, like, do the whole, like, tedious throw my axe at him and, like, stop the poison type shit. I already got that box. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a box I missed in the beginning that would have given me a health upgrade, but I can go back and get it later when we get the magical gates. And, uh, I think I was just, like, talking about bullshit, so I forgot about it. Because I'm dumb, so... Okay. Hang in there, boy. Don't we fight another troll here soon? Like, not one of the tall ones with the big cement sticks, but one of the kind of weird, small, hairy ones. Pretty sure we do. Could be wrong, though. Oh, there's wolves and shit. Alright. Come on, dude. Despite what's being depicted, Kratos solidly believes that you shouldn't abuse animals. Don't try this at home. Unless, like, a wolf has rabies or something like that, and then it's a little bit of a different story. Might want to worry about your own personal safety at that point. Oh yeah, you know what? Good shit, boy. You just saved me a bunch of time, because I was seriously about to go all the way up there. Good shit, Atreus. Maybe I talked a little bit too much shit about my son. Maybe he's handy in certain certain spots. <coughs> oh, he looks sad a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so if this is a sky lift, what are Norse amusement parks like? Did they have like wooden no. Ferris wheels and shit like that? Said no. Maybe. Okay. Probably not. Up to safety standards, though, to be fair. Yeah, that's right, because we get the ability to do all that explody shit after the mountain, don't we? Where we fight the big dragon thing, I think. If I remember right. Although it has been like a year and a half since I played this, so I can't really remember exactly how the events go. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. What do you mean, no, thanks? That's friend. just general knowledge Careless that you know more of than I do, because I'm not from this land. Your mother literally raised you with all this knowledge. Kratos doesn't know shit about it. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Can we just, like, step down this, or is there- no, that's nothing. Okay. Don't have the ability to burn that yet, because we need the blades, I think. Which we don't get till later. Oh, I see. Come, let us finish this. Oh yeah, and then at the top of the mountain we meet the best character in the game, hands down. Easily the best character, I think. Once you get Mimir, the game becomes like a thousand times better, I think. Like, personal opinion-wise. It's a fancy remote control. Wonder if Kratos has, like, DVR control. Like, can he record episodes of Breaking Bad with this glowing remote? Maybe it's, like, the remote from Click, where he can rewind his life and, like, rewind time and the events that pass and stuff like that. 
Coincidentally enough, I think Click was also about being a shitty parent or something like that. Yeah, that's right, because he never had time for his kids because he was w always working so hard. And then he got into some sort of accident or something. I can't remember exactly how it goes, but... Whatever. Oh, good jump, idiot. All signed and sealed. I can't even tell you how many times I've heard the Bloodborne dialogue. I could probably recite that game back to front nearly. You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. <laughs> Perhaps they returned to their home. The Giants up and left one day, yeah. Kratos went out to pick up the morning newspaper and somebody was mowing their lawn and it was like 6 in the morning. And Kratos just, like, annihilated all of them, and that's why the giants disappeared. Kratos was having a really bad day. More black breath. Yeah, and pause people, yeah. I gotta watch that movie again. It's been a long time. All I remember is he goes to, like, some weird store, and then there's, like, a back room or something. What's up, Air King? How's it going? Welcome to Dad of Boy. Welcome to uh, Parenting Simulator 2018. Although I think the next installment of God of War is going to come sometime in 2021. If they're using the same engine as this one used. Also, if you guys are into metal music, tell me this doesn't look like a Mastodon album cover. Tell me this doesn't look like the cover to Blood Mountain a little bit. It totally does. Look it up. Look up Mastodon Blood Mountain. It's so similar. It's kind of uncanny. It's a little weird. Got this game, but you haven't touched it yet? What the fuck are you doing with your life, dude? Go be dad of boy. You'll understand why people call it that really soon, as soon as you start it. Mm, get fucked, dude. I didn't even know you were there, and I still parried your ass. What a nerd. Get fucked. Alright, he's super dead. That guy too is super dead. Brilliant. Is that sap? In a cave? Weird. Oh, how do you think that got up there? I have no idea. I was gonna say, I'm just trying to figure out how to get it down. Playing Zelda in Metal Gear? Yeah, which Zelda are you playing? Or which Metal Gear are you playing? It looks fun. Wait until you fight the, uh... Well, I don't want to say what they are, you know, like, because you haven't played it, but... Because Sam hasn't played it either, and I want to spare you guys, but there's some really good fights in this game later on. Nice. Not yet. It says save 20% on your car insurance by switching to Geico. That's what it says. Is it the answer? Yes, it's definitely the answer, Kratos. Sure, that works. That was a nice parry, yeah. Do you see how I parried him without even knowing he was there? He literally came out of my blind spot and I still parried his ass. How do I let go of this thing? What the fuck? Boy. What? What do I do? I can't... I literally... I can't... I can't let go of the switch. This is really awkward, dude. Can you quit staring at me like that? Like go you expect ahead. something from me? Sure. What the fuck? Why did it take him that long? I was just standing here waiting for him to do something. That was awkward as fuck. Alright. What you doing? Who dares enter my mountain? Oh god, it shoots lasers. Uh oh. Kinda horrifying. Love the posters, by the way. Yeah, I have Kill the Kill back there. I have Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul over there. And then over here, past my monitor, you can't see it, but I have... Toka from Tokyo Ghoul. I have another one of Toka from Tokyo Ghoul. I have a poster of Zonton uh, with tentacles and stuff. Don't ask me why. And then I have one of Celeste from Danganronpa up here above my TV. And I have one of Ruby from Ruby up here past my monitor and you can't see it. Played Ocarina of Time years after it released on the 3DS. Glorious game. Yeah. Uh, Zelda was one of my first games growing up as a kid, along with like Mario 64 and stuff like that. Um, I grew up with an N64, so that's what I had growing up. 
I had a PS1, I had an original Xbox, and I had an N64. And my first game ever was DK64. And then, like, my serious games, Young, were Resident Evil, and, like, Dino Crisis, and, uh, Parasite Eve, and stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I grew up with. And stuff like Frogger, like, more kid-friendly stuff, obviously. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's another health upgrade around here somewhere that I want to find while I'm here. I just don't remember exactly where it is. Wish you grew up with this one, but 64 is my first console too. Yeah, I really loved the N64. That was a prime era for video games. There's so much good stuff on it. I really wish Nintendo would add Virtual Console to the Nintendo Switch, and I don't know why they haven't done that yet. Sturdy armor favoring cooldown. Alright. Is it better than what I have? See, minus 6 in strength, but I get a lot more defense, and I get a lot more cooldown. But my runic goes down. I think that's worth it. I think I'll take that, actually. Yeah, that actually seems like it's kind of worth it. Maybe I'll start upgrading my armor, too, so I can start adding, like, weird slots to them and stuff. Thanks, boy. Oh, it did nothing. Alright, brilliant. They're up to the SNES, so here's hoping. Emulators for days? Yeah, I could use an emulator. I use an emulator for a lot of my N64 games. And a lot of my GameCube games. Oh, get fucked. Yeah, because a piece of wood, like a sharp piece of wood, is literally gonna hurt that much. Jesus Christ, she's beating the shit out of me. Hit the bitch, please. Damn it. My son is literally sitting here watching his dad get his ass kicked. Where is this stupid thing? Yeah, that thing needs to fucking die. That thing was really annoying me. Oh, two for one, nice. Good shit. Yeah, get parried, dumbass. Get parried again, dumbass. Oh yeah, that's fair. Dude, could you quit teleporting for like two seconds, please? Okay, this enemy type is like absolute fucking bullshit. Yeah, fuck this enemy type. Cheating bitch. There we go. <coughs> Let's see here. Grew up with SNES, Sega Mega Drive, then PS1, PS2. Really wish she had an N64 as a kid too, but I had to make a choice. Gotcha. Yeah, see, I was a really spoiled kid. Like, I basically got whatever I want. So, my dad had a PS1 and a PS2. Um, I had an original Xbox and I had an N64. And, uh, I had a GameCube. Uh, when I was a kid. And, like, from my childhood days, that's what I would describe having. So, like, I had RE1, I had RE2, I had RE3. And then I had, like, Parasite Eve 1 and 2. I had Alone in the Dark. I had Frogger. I had what else? That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I had DK64. I had Super Mario 64. I had Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie. Um, what else did I have? I had a whole bunch of stupid games. I had, like, every Crash Bandicoot ever made. Like, for the time, of course, but... I can't really think of much else I had, but I had a lot of stuff. I was a really spoiled kid. I don't care about the bird. I don't give a shit. I've already platinumed the game. I don't really care. Alright, this can't be N. It's gotta be something else. I'm guessing two? Yeah, I'm guessing that one. <clears throat> Although I don't know what I'll have to get until I find the box. Oh, that fucked him up. Nice. Get fucked, idiot. Nice. 
Oh, who's getting good at the parries? That guy's super dead. Nice. Just Mortal Kombat his ass. Rip him in half. He's not getting back up from that. Why are these stupid stones so hard to hit? Uh, hit the stone, retard. Uh. Alright, this game sucks. You should be able to target those things. I don't know why that's so complicated. They didn't have to make that that annoying to do. Whatever, though. It is what it is. That guy's not gonna come to life. When did my health get so low? I thought I refilled my health like ages ago. I guess not. Alright. No health stones? Alright. That didn't really recharge that much health, but whatever. It's kind of interesting, instead of like collecting the boxes like you do in the old God of War, so like after scripted fight events you get like chests and stuff. That they um... Do that this way in this one, so you can have different abilities that like recharge different things. Kind of interesting. You're not coming to life. You're not coming to life either. All right. Wait a minute. Put that down. Throw that there. Well, it's kind of hard to miss, idiot. This is where the box is, if I remember correctly. Never experienced a story as epic as that before, and bought. Brought on my reading and love of English literature so much, opened up the world for me. Always excited for new Final Fantasy releases, been buying them at launch since Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I was never really into the Final Fantasy games. Um, except Crystal Chronicles. I love Crystal Chronicles. Um, I'm a big fan of that one. All the other ones I've never played, so I have no idea. There's something up there. C. What, what is that? B, N, and R? Alright. BNR. Playing 7-2 on the Switch. You guys are big nerds. Mega nerds. Oh, and the Paper Mario games. Paper Mario 64 is another game that I really adored growing up. What the fuck are these things so hard to hit? Maybe my aim is just really bad. Alright, so there's B. I don't know what that one swapped to. I can't remember which ones are on this. So N. Alright. So where's the other one? Where's the last letter that I have to fuck around with? Boy, another light crystal. Yeah, come over here so you can shoot it, dumbass. Oh, he just shot through the rock, did he? That's a pretty impressive bow you got there. You wanna show me your Steam account, you hacking little fuck? Huh? 